Hello and welcome to the 60 Leader YouTube channel. In today's YouTube video, I'll show you the cost difference between shooting film and shooting digital. So I've wanted to make this video for the longest time to show you guys the true cost difference between film and digital and use actual numbers and actual analysis to show you what the actual cost difference will be. So here's my spreadsheet that I created. On the left hand column, you have digital and the right hand you have film. And for the camera body for digital, I chose the Canon 5D Mark II, which you could get a used one at eBay for about $550. And for the lens, I chose the Canon 50 millimeter F1.4 USM, which you could get on eBay for about $250. For the memory card, I chose a Scanda 64 gigabyte memory card, which you could get on Amazon for about 12 bucks. And for software, I put in Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop, assuming you buy the one year subscription through Best Buy, which is about $120. Now for digital, you won't need a film scanner, 35 millimeter film or developing kit because it's all digital. For film, I chose a Nikon F3 body, which is about $250 on eBay. I used Nikkor 50 millimeter F1.8, which you could get on eBay for about $100. For software, same thing, just put in Lightroom and Photoshop, assuming a one year subscription through Best Buy. Now, if you plan on scanning your own film at home, I chose the Epson V600 scanner, which you could get on Amazon for about $229. Now you could play around with this number a little bit. You could get a different scanner that's cheaper or more expensive, but I chose this one just to give, um, just to put an actual number in there. And for this experiment, I assumed that we were shooting just black and white film. So I chose 10 rolls of Ilford HP 400 black and white film which you could get the 10 roll pack for about $62 on Amazon. And if you decide to shoot color, it will cost more than this. And I chose this film because it's one of the cheapest you could get for black and white film online. I, for developing kit, I chose the Patterson tank and reels that you could get on Amazon Prime for about $33.70. You'll also need a darkroom bag, which you could get on Amazon for about $22. And you'll need a film cartridge opener, which is about 15 bucks on Amazon. And you'll need this to open up your film canister once you're done with shooting the film. And for the developing chemicals, I chose the one liter DF96 mono bath all-in-one black and white developer, which is offered by Cinestill. And this is the all-in-one chemical that Sinistil offers. And you don't have to buy multiple bottles of chemicals. You could just use this one liter solution. And you could get it for about $19.99, $20 on Sinistil's website. All right, the assumptions I made. So the assu assumption number one that I made is you're using one camera and one camera lens for the duration of this experiment. Assumption number two is that the one liter of Sinistil DF96 model bath is good for 32 rolls. On the specs, it says it's good enough to develop 16 plus rolls as a shelf life of one year when not opened. And you could reuse this chemical. So I'm going to give it a life of 32 rolls before you have to buy another liter. And assumption number three is I'm going to test out four scenarios. Scenario number one is shoot one roll of film every one week. Shoot one roll of film every two weeks. Shoot one roll of film every three weeks. And shoot two rolls of film every one week. And this is the formula I use to plot my results. Okay, so let's talk about scenario one. Shooting one roll of film every one week during a 100-week period. So if you look at this graph right here, you'll see the blue line is for film and the orange line is for digital. So you'll see that by 
about week 20, well, you'll see here that on, by week 20, that the cost of film will surpass your cost of digital. And the difference grows over time. And by the time you get to week 100, the difference in cost will be $599.31. If we go to scenario two, you'll see that around week 32, that is the point where the cost of film will surpass the cost of using a digital camera. And you're shooting one roll of film every two weeks. So the difference isn't that great as a result. And you'll see this throughout the graph. And by week 100, the difference will be $290.06. Or scenario three, where you're shooting one roll of film every three weeks, the point where film will be more expensive than digital will be week 32. And the difference grows again as the weeks go on. And by week 100, you'll see that the difference in cost is $166.36. Okay, so scenario four. This is where you shoot two rolls of film every week. And you'll see around week 10, that's where the cost of film will surpass the cost of digital. And the difference will get significantly greater as time passes. So by week 100, you'll have a cost difference of $1,277.78. So the conclusion is, that assuming you're using one camera and one lens, film will always cost more. No matter what, there will be a point where film will be more expensive than shooting digital. And that, that transitions into my second point, which is the point in time when film costs will exceed digital cost is dependent on how frequent, frequently you shoot film every week. So the more you shoot every week, the greater the cost difference will be at the end of the 100 week period. And the third conclusion is, well, I just talked about it. The more film you shoot per week, the greater the cost difference. So like I showed you earlier on assumption number four, scenario number four, by the time you get to week 100, the difference is $1,277.78. If I increase that number to, let's say, three rolls per week, that th difference would be even greater. So there you have it. Shooting film is definitely more expensive than shooting digital, assuming that you're using one camera and one lens throughout this 100-week period and beyond. I guess if you bought more digital camera lenses along the way, it would get more expensive. but that could vary as well because if you buy a used lens versus a new lens, the cost will be significantly different. So in that scenario, it may still be more expensive to shoot film than digital, but you can play around with the numbers and see for yourself. But I just wanted to make this video to show you guys the cost difference in shooting film versus digital. And I hope that this information helps you make a de decision on whether you're going to pursue film or digital. Film is an art form and people appreciate it because it's a different way to do something, different way to shoot photography. And if you're really into that, go for it. But understand the cost behind it. That in the long run, you may not be able to continue funding your project because it would just be way too expensive to buy film, buy the chemical, and it may not be worth it, but that's ultimately up to you. So if you like this video, give me a like. Thanks.